people, welcome to the Dr. Joy Show, your prescription for total wellness, and I'm your host, Dr. Joy. You see what we got here? A lot of mess, right? Well, we're going to talk about metamorphosis staging, that's home staging, for your home and your office. But before we get started, you know what we do on the Dr. Joy Show. We take three deep breaths to take it down. Are you ready? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. How do you feel? I know you feel great. Well, let's get started. I want to introduce my guests, Marnay Coetzer and Sharon Duplessis, Duplessis, Right? Duplessis. Du Duplessis. Du yeah, they're from South Africa and they've come to the Dr. Joy Show to talk <clears throat> about metamorphosis staging. <laughs> yes, and you're going to need all of their advice. So, welcome to the Dr. Joy Show. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me about staging and why it's important. Well, like anything and like a woman who always wants to present herself at the best you want your, your house to do exactly the same thing so you want to your house to be in the best possible condition for prospective buyers so we always use the um, analogy we say you know plastic surgery fixes a lot right but a little bit of makeup also helps helps a lot as well and that is the thing with your house mm -hmm. so in this, if staging is the thing, then we'll say that falls into the makeup category. It is an easy fix that actually takes the focus away of the, on the mistakes, but it also enhances the spaces. Now, I know both of you have combined 22 years of being in the business of fashion and staging and organization, mm -hmm. as Sharon is the organization expert, so she's going to help us <laughs> here. So, but how long have you guys been in business together? Five years. Five, Five years. years. So you yeah. have a lot of experience that you bring into the table. So now define staging. You said it's like makeup in terms of fashion, but what are the key elements? Well, the key elements of staging is to take away the focus of the, and we don't want to say mistakes because people ask you, do we hide stuff? And we definitely don't hide. We disguise and what we then do is we enhance the space and the, um, the features of the spaces. Okay. So we depersonalize and we declutter definitely. Okay. And then we bring, bring back stuff that will enhance that space, create one focus point and help people to visualize them living in your house. Now, do you do staging for residential and commercial properties? We do both. Um, primarily, we do residential, mm -hmm. um, lived in homes, but also new construction, empty homes. You don't want to show an empty space. Right. Nobody can visualize where would you put your sofa or your um, bed. So we do empty homes as well so that we can paint a picture and create an emotion in a potential buyer as they walk through. Now, Sharon, I want to point out with you, you're special. Not to say that you're not my name <laughs> oh, because okay. you are special too. But Sharon, you are the first person that I've met mm -hmm. in my lifetime that has lived or has resided on a boat. We did reside on a boat, my husband, myself, and our, at the time, two very young children. Mm -hmm. um, it, was a, it was a large boat. We needed a crew to work the boat with us. So we had cool a full crew as well, usually of about five or six people. So we were living in confined quarters with a lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds. And that really taught me how to use my space effectively and efficiently and how to raise children and a family in a very tiny environment. So that's how you became an organizational Absolutely. expert. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're a fashion expert when it comes to home. To home design. I'm right. The you, funny thing with her, sorry, is first time I met her, she said to me, we moved on land. I'm like, but land is normal. Yeah. <laughs> Boat is not normal. She said right. like it was such a big transition because she was used to being organized so well. So we're talking about all residences. You do, you do home staging for all residences. Absolutely. So those of you that want your yacht stage, <laughs> contact <laughs> them. Be, stay tuned. I'll give you their information. So now tell me the top reasons why one would want to stage their home. Top reasons. 
Well, first of all, it's an emotional thing. People walk into the house and they determine the value of their house immediately by a feeling that they have. And right. it's, also, it's not just the emotional value, it's going to be the value that they put on your house financially. Mm. So that is the one thing. The other thing is you want, like I said, no 10% of people can actually visualize a space when they walk into that space. So you, like Sharon said, have to paint a picture for that. And then, of course, there's the financial benefits mm -hmm. of all of that. So the financial yeah. benefits include, statistically, it's been shown that homes, staged homes, sell in half the time that unstaged mm -hmm. homes do. Yes. And um, for about, uh, the statistics say, between 6 and 17% more than unstaged homes sell for. So you want to maximize your investment by getting more return and having it on the market for less time. Are you guys yes. connected to realtors? Oh, yes. most of our marketing is directly to realtors. Okay, so that's great. Do you use elements of feng shui? We do. They're in design, there's in home staging per se, there's a lot of um, overlapping um, elements with feng shui. Mm -hmm. And yes, things like in feng shui, they'll talk about the energy that yes. moves through the house. We would say in design, it's the flow of the house. You want to declutter, take all of that away to, to have an easy flow. It's about colors, it's about things that block your vision, so big bulky furniture, the way it is spaced in a room, all of that. So yes, the principles are very, very close. So now, okay, you were going to say something. And in staging, when, when you're having potential buyers come through your home, you want it to be a calming mm -hmm. environment that they can really relax mm -hmm. as they walk through. And, and that's what Monet is talking about, the flow and how Feng Shui um, overlaps that way because you want to recreate your environment to allow a calming experience to your potential buyers. One thing that both of you said, when the buyers come to your home, now we're in a digital age mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. I mean, back in the day, we didn't have the internet. So a realtor would be, would take you to the, to the prospective homes and you would walk through. But today with the internet, you have a lot of, you know, photos and the, the, what is it, the 360 degree views, That's right. right? So I'm going to make an assumption that if your house is staged, those pictures go online as sort of like a little carrot for pr prospective buyers. I think it's this day and age more than a little carrot. Oh, even. really? Yes, that is 90% of buyers, prospective buyers introduction to a house. Mm -hmm. They don't have time, they're busy, they don't go out shopping, they go online, they look at pictures, they compare pictures and that is your first entrance into a home. So mm -hmm. you make a decision online whether you're even going to make an appointment to see that house. That's right. So yes, we stage for people to create an emotion, but we definitely stage specifically for online so that people can see what the house looked like. Mm -hmm. Oh good. So take me from A to Z, what is the process? Somebody decides that they want to move. Let's pretend that Dr. Joy is moving. Okay. Lord Jesus. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you right now, you're hired. Um, so I want, I'm going to be moving, all okay. right? So what is the process? I'm going to let Sharon, you start, because it starts with decluttering and organizing. Okay. So I'm going to have it over to you. Um, absolutely. My name is right. The first step is to have us in. We'll meet you. We'll see your spaces. And step number one is we're going to probably recommend you declutter 90% of your spaces. Okay, see, so I have one eye closed <laughs> and one eye open. And what, ha what happens, how do you deal with clients that are very emotionally tied to the items that are in their house? Well, the interesting <laughs> thing, w uh, there is emotion mm -hmm. involved in objects in your home. You've right. collected them over time. Your child made you something in kindergarten. Happy memories. Happy oh, I have memories. Those you around. you started a collection in your twenties of thingies that Thingies. are now accumulating dust on yeah. your shelf. Nobody else who's coming to look at your home has those emotions to those little items that you have. The other thing that we see with people, sometimes the situation for the reasons why they are selling are very sensitive. It can be a death in the family, right. it can be a downsize, so you're moving out of a house that you've been happy in for 50 years. Right. It can be a divorce, mm -hmm. so there's a lot of emotion um, going with that. So, so Monet is right, and our, our, our number one thing is we respect the individual. Okay. So we mm -hmm. walk the individual through the process of decluttering. And there is a process because there's emotion attached. So we want to show 
kindness and respect for you and the choices you've made in making those collections um, and walk you through why it's necessary to take them away. And so walk you through by that setting the stage for you or, or showing you the path to right. declutter. Part of that is um, discussing with you what items are of value that you can donate. What can somebody else use more than what you're using okay, right now? Okay, so we're going to reuse. Absolutely. Yeah. So how long does it take for you to go through that step number one process, decluttering? That totally depends on the person. Yeah. So if, you're a, if you are so ready to just move on, you've got a place in mind, you're ready to get this house on the market, mm -hmm. it can take as little as a day. Or if you've been hoarding things, right. we've worked with hoarders in the past who have been collecting items for years and there's massive um, insecurity involved in mm -hmm. giving up some of those pieces. Some clients take us six months wow. of process. That's a long time. So yeah. we declutter first. What's the next step? Well, then we'll make a general suggestion of things that we think that should move out of your house. So okay. that can be in the form of a verbal consultation where we walk with you, mm -hmm. you make notes, um, or we can put it down in a report, send it to you, and you have a list and you can tick it off. And then you decide how much you can do yourself, how much do you want us to do. And once we finalize that, then we come in and we do furniture arrangement. And they can say, only use our furniture, or right. please use some of our furniture pieces, bring in a new rug, or mm -hmm. a trendy shade, mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be, or use all your furniture. So basically, you're making recommendations to the home buyer on the best way that they should have their the items within their home placed, if they should right. add new items, mm -hmm. for them to make the biggest bang on the buck of the home sale. Correct. That's the bottom line. That is bottom it's, right? Line. It's money. We always it's money. It is. We always say the woman has the emotional connection. The men in general, it's all about the money. And you have to we have to under, make them understand the value of home staging. Yeah, home staging has been around for a long yes, time. It has. A long time, what, 20, 30? Well, I'd say at least 20 years, because I do know someone that moved a long time ago, and, and they said, ooh, come see my house. And where, where is your furniture? Mm -hmm. what, what, what happened? Well, it's called staging, and when you get ready to yes. move, it's something that you're going to need to do. Okay, yeah, I, I filed yeah. it. <laughs> All right. But yeah, so it's been around for a oh, while. Wow. So tell me what you would do differently between commercial versus residential properties or in your case, a boat. The, the commercial is has more to do with um, with creating an organized environment. Mm -hmm. So design. environmental design that's that helps. Oftentimes you go into a commercial environment and it's cold and stark and nobody wants to be there. Right. Um, but bringing in elements of nature makes it soothing and calming to people. It makes it more attractive to a person looking at the space. So um, we, d we focus a lot on, on the environmental design aspects. Wonderful. Um, and then there are little things like lighting, clean air. Do you mm -hmm. know, clean makes you, t if your air is not fresh, people oh. get tired. Yeah. They don't want to work. Right. If the lighting is bad, they say um, one of the biggest problems um, health-wise for right. people in an office environment is eye strain yes because of bad lighting and all the technology that we are with so it is yes. it's more than just placing furniture it is clean air lighting I mean, colors sound noise reduction wow. that is a very very big distraction in the workplace see that's how that's this is the reason why we have them here because environmental wellness is we're, we're discussing it right now not to mention the financial wellness component that mm -hmm. you're going to make money by staging because that's you're right. going to sell faster mm -hmm. not to mention the emotional and mental wellness that so. you're going to save on yourself because you're going to yeah. stress less because they're going to hire you yeah. to right. get it done or right. at right. least help them in at the process of them. doing that that's right yes so you have transformations correct that's correct um let's go to the powerpoint and you'll be able to talk to, to through to the transformation. So Absolutely. what's the first one? Do you know what the first one is? I don't know. So the first one is an office space, actually, um, to do with the, the, just the clutter. This particular before picture in the left shows just this gentleman was working in this office space right. with piles of things. I don't know how he functioned well in that environment but 
they, there's just you can see just total abundance chaos. of chaos, chaos. <laughs> in okay. this space and um and they had us in because it was a home office right. and they had us in as part of the staging of the rest of their home to recreate and transform his office space for him obviously they couldn't show it in the state it was in right and so we helped him organize and put systems in place for how he can work in that space effectively while, um, showing. while showing the house okay um, that's great so we put processes in how do you eliminate the paperwork yes. on the desk where does it go right where do you put new paper that's coming into your office and it probably helped him work more efficiently as well yes. so it's just not staging for the, uh, a home sale absolutely i think metamorphosis staging is good for anyone at any point in their that's life right. We get so many feedback after our house was staged from the homeowners saying we should have gotten you in five years ago when we lived here because yeah. we could have lived easier right. and more comfortably in our mm -hmm. home. And there's two the two aspects we call it staging for sale right. or staging for life. Staging and for that's sale or staging doing. for life. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the second what's the second PowerPoint? And the second the slide um, I think it was the laundry. It is the laundry room oh. um, of, a, of a place that a laundry room is a place oftentimes people don't think of with regard to staging. Right. But it is a place that potential buyers are going to come and look at. Yeah. Um, and so you want to put some attention in that area. Mm -hmm. And you want to, especially the, when the woman comes in to look at the home, right. you want her not to want to run away from the laundry room. That is true. Right. And um, so you can use your own pieces but it's just a matter of having in the right place what you need to use in that space so not the overflow of all the stuff that you've accumulated over time and right. all not a storage area it's not a storage area i was going to say yeah. my, I, I, i'm going to personalize my laundry room i mean i open the door i walk in that you have the washing machine and you have the dryer mm -hmm. and there's a sink and we have cabinets there and we just store everything so behind the cabinet. So hopefully the people that are coming to preview don't open the cabinets. Well, and, we, and we all know laundry is not a great job. Yeah. So if you walk yeah. in there and the laundry room looks like that, if I walk in and it looks good, I actually feel good to be, it's a little bit of a lie, but I feel good to be in a laundry room. Yeah. Exactly. And you don't need to accumulate every sock that's lost its no, friend. I Those kind away. of things. Really, throw it, away. it, yeah, it needs yeah. to be gone. Yeah, throw yeah. it away. So what's the next one? I think that the next three, the one is a dining room, one will be a bedroom, a no, master bedroom, the and then one is the living room and foyer. Okay. All of them show one of the biggest problems for people now walking in the homes are wallpaper. It still Ooh, has the older it. wallpaper. Oh, I don't I like know. it. Ooh. And it is a big thing and people feel why can't the buyer change that no, but the problem is expensive. the buyer walks in and says I don't have the time for this exactly it's just too much energy I cannot think about it I just want it painted we also say our buyers are educated they right. watch HDTV all the time so they want to walk into the space the younger people and have a HDTV room exactly that is what they want so all of them show big changes with the wallpaper taken down the colors down into a neutral tone um, softened up by neutral rugs and then just furniture arrangement in the living room you'll see we changed the furniture arrangement around took out all the dark bulky mm -hmm. pieces put the lighter smaller scale that is one of the biggest problems is scale the furniture is way too big and way too many for a specific room and it could be the opposite too where Absolutely. you can have a huge room and the furniture is too small exactly yeah. okay and then yeah. it looks it, it doesn't look um, good when you do it that way and especially when you the, there's a, a slide of the foyer slide number three is the foyer and that's the entrance to your home mm -hmm. so if it's a home you are living in if it's designed for you to live there mm -hmm. you want that to be your entrance must be this is your retreat this right. is where you come to relax and unwind right so you want Six that to be a time. soothing organized uncluttered environment um for sale homes for sale that's the first impression your buyer is going to have of your home and a buyer it's been shown that a buyer makes their decision on your home in the first 10 seconds mm -hmm. of seeing it. That yeah, is especially your Especially if they walk through the front door, and that's Absolutely. how they should walk through the front door, not the garage. That's right. My question to you is, how about do you paint the front door? Do you, do you, would you recommend well, someone painting the front door? That is door? curb appeal. So mm -hmm. curb appeal is my door very, is very, very important. My door, very both the double door is red. 
fantastic so that yeah. is yeah. it's energy it yes. is come in come see who lives here it also mm -hmm. is a reflection of your personality if you have a like a, a light blue or maybe a green that says maybe i'm not such a happy all the time person but i am an open inviting person with mm -hmm. blue so yes Front door says a lot, a lot about your house. And then the other question too that many viewers will have is, do I really need to take down my artwork? Do I really need to get rid of the family photos? Your thoughts? And we can, we can talk to that. In, a, in every room, you want to have a focal point, mm -hmm. but you do not want to have multiple points of focus throughout the room because it, it can be very, um, loud okay you know and you want to have a calming space so yes photographs are great for the home you live in yeah those are your memories those are the pictures of your children and right. those are things you want to treasure mm -hmm. in a home for sale they can be distracting okay so you would say get rid of all of those and things. remember we said with a very important thing with people that can't visualize you have to set a house up so that they they can't see how you live in the house you have to show them how they, they can, can live, live in, in the house. house. Okay. And pictures are one of the one things that shows it's my house. Mm -hmm. It's like a hotel room. Right. You want to walk into a hotel room and feel this is my room for the weekend. For the weekend. I can do whatever I want here because it feels like it. But you won't do that if there are sorry stuff on the bed, for instance. That's true. Yeah. So what do we have here? So this is <laughs> this is an <laughs> illustration yes. of <laughs> what we find. Many times when we go into a person's house, this is what we find. This is usually in their foyer, their foyer table or a console table near right. the entrance to the home. Right. And these are different pieces that they that are, are important to them. Um, so, 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 yeah. so what do you, you so let me, like? We're going to gonna show you quickly okay. how we can transform this in two minutes into oh, an yes. inviting, trendy designer foyer. Do you need me to help we you? We are definitely going to okay. need you, Dr. Joy. Right, Please. So you can stand up. Let us so show you. Um, and I can so I can walk you, see, you through. Oh my gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve keys, thirteen, fourteen mail, fifteen, <laughs> sixteen. You have about twenty things on this table. Right. Yeah. Okay. And this is what you're going to face every time you come into your house. Okay. So let me show you. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna tell you. You probably want to put your collection of boats in a place that displays them better than right here, gathering dust in your front entrance. Okay. Right. Yeah, you probably well, that's something that isn't that one cool? of Marnay's children made. So this <laughs> is something box? that the kid, the kid made in yes. kindergarten. Let's put that in a space that honors their their hard work, okay. as well as the woodworking class, as well as the pottery class. Oh wow! This can come out the you know as well, and then we're going to find a space for you to put your keys where they won't get lost, so you right. don't have to spend five minutes every day looking for them okay. to eliminate some of your stress. Mm -hmm. This is a memento from you when you went on a cruise to Panama. Yes, But beautiful. let's put that with your sentimental memento pieces. Right. This is all your mail, mail that's been accumulating over the space of time. You probably want to put that in your office, okay. on your desk, so that you can pay the bills and not lose them. And then there's some other pieces of interest that, that you... That probably should go on your patio. Yeah, yeah. we'll put that on the yeah. patio. And, um, and I'm going to let Monet take over. So take over. we have books. So I quickly want to give you a, a quick tip about books. Yeah. To make this match your um, interior, get wrapping paper, anything that you like, and cover these books so that it matches what is going on. And if you do it in a pattern, then you are very trendy at that point. Wow! So what we do is we change out this. We move, move our little box on this side for a little bit of height and dimension. Okay. This is your mail catcher. Right. We replace it with something feng shui, yes. green design elements yes. and seasonal. Right. Because you want something seasonal to show that this is a lived in home. Mm -hmm. We move the picture a little bit ahead. But it is a beautiful picture. And if picture. you can swap out the lamp for us, Dr. Joy. Okay. Pass us the old one. Yeah. Then... yeah, I think I can do that. Okay, so here's that. Yes. And so this is an old shape, traditional lampshade. Sorry, Sharon. Yeah. Oh. We're replacing yeah. this with a new drum shape lampshade in a funky color or a, um, a geometric pattern that is so fashionable at this point. And then the last thing is, please move everything to the front because we tend to squeeze it back to the wall, thinking right. it will look bigger. But if we create a little bit 
of distance there, we create dimension and depth. Right. And this looks like a designer table. Oh, look at that. Oh, add yeah. Add your little fun element that shows your personality, whatever that may be. And there you go. So we went from 20-something items, crazy clutter, stuff that did not even mesh on a table to one, two, three, four, five, six items. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you have the element of environment. Right. Yes, and you didn't buy a thing. And I didn't buy a thing. And you we did it in around. less than two minutes. You did. You did it in less yeah. than two minutes. Okay, so all of these items were already in my house when yes. you said I didn't buy a thing or, yeah. or you brought them in. Yeah, well, maybe you bought the flower. Yeah, well, the flower is <laughs> good. Seasonal. I heard that yellow is a good flower, color for a flower to be in your home. Your thoughts? It's a happy, I think it's a happy color. Right? It, it stirs um, just positive thoughts and a, a positive feeling about your home. So that's always a fun, um, it is a fun element to bring in. The other thing is you choose whatever makes you happy. That is where you display your personality in the fun element in the flower. But at least it gives you a good guideline to do it. So you'll swap it out and change and chop and, chop and change a little bit for you. But that gives you a good, like a good guideline. So you do soup to nuts. Yes. You paint walls, mm -hmm. you remove furniture, you pull up carpet, put rugs down, take a bed out, put a bed in, swap out a couch, move a chair. Yes. You do it all, soup to nuts, or as little as a person would need or as much as a person would need. Exactly. So in closing, before I ask where we can find you, two major tips for my viewers on staging a home for life, mm -hmm. living in it, mm -hmm. and staging your home to sell. And maybe do one of each. So let's talk about staging to sell. Yeah, one thing. Neutralize the home in paint colors. It's the, it's the cheapest way to make a big impact in okay. your house. Right. And then instead of doing colors in different rooms, choose one color and take it throughout the house because that creates flow in your house oh and an inviting environment. I know it was fashionable I'm get, I'm, a, I'm a get, long time ago. I'm getting ago. hot just thinking about having to make that change. And if you think that's boring, yeah. then then you put in a shade darker or a shade lighter in a powder room or in a dining room. Okay. Whatever the case may be. All right. So that's that's to sell. To sell. Yeah. To, and to live. And staging a home to live, the top thing is declutter. You can live without and it or find a better space mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. some of your things. Um, there's too much clutter creates stress and anxiety and that's the last that's thing you true. want in your home and it's going to yeah. help you with your mental wellness absolutely so, so where can we find you your your contact information so we have a website okay it's our business name metamorphiasdesignservices.com mm -hmm. um, and all our contact details are on there you'll find our phone numbers you'll find our email address you can see more before and after pictures. I was going to say, those before and after pictures yes. are on there, right? Yes, right. Okay. absolutely. Um, and, and just some things, there's even little things that people say about us, uh, comments that past clients have made about us. And oh, that's good. our purpose, is to make people happy. And we're going to have the Dr. Joy show on our Facebook now. Yeah, you'll have the Dr. Facebook Joy show? And on the, wonderful, on the website, wonderful. Yes. But you know, mental wellness, environmental wellness, financial wellness, all tied into metamorphosis staging. Thank you very much for being guests on the Dr. Joy Show, Marnay and Joy. Sharon. Wow, I cannot Thank believe you, you lived on the boat for that long. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Until, until next time, you guys get your house in order. Make sure you declutter. You know, do one room at a time. It will help clear your mind. Until next time, be blessed, stay healthy. See ya!